Use code SPIKEFEEDERS for 5% off at facetofacegames.com. You can shop face-to-face games in U.S. dollars, Canadian dollars, or even euros, and they'll ship just about everywhere. That's code SPIKEFEEDERS at checkout at facetofacegames.com to help support the show. Spikes, what is up? We are back with another gameplay episode. Uh, we are playing MLC Dex again. This is game three of this four game series where mm-hmm. we're playing my MLC Dex. Uh, MLC, if you're not familiar, is the Major League Commander League that's going on uh, over the summer. It's uh, 32 participants drafted four decks each from a list of 155 curated decks, uh, mostly from the decklist database, but also from around the community. And uh, we're just playing it like a sports league over the summer. Really, really cool uh, initiative. Uh, yeah, and so we're taking the four decks that I drafted to play in the MLC, and we're playing them against each other. Mm-hmm. Today, I am playing Urza, Lord High Artificer. This is a polycracking deck. That means we're polymorphing into uh, Hullbreaker Horror and uh, doing some bouncy stuff with zero drop artifacts uh, and also controlling the board and doing a whole bunch of Urza stacks things. So that's what I got going on. Elliot? I am Elliot. I am playing Cole, the Forge Master. Uh, this is clamp storm uh and the idea behind the deck is have colon play with uh skull clamp hence the the clamp part uh and then uh it makes the the dudes die and then they go back to your hand and then you play them again and then they die again and you draw a bunch of cards that's the storm part storm (laughs) part um i think we have a video about it but don't quote me on that if we do it'll be here Get owned, Jan. <laughs> Your turn. Uh, hi, I'm not Elliot. I'm Jan, and I'm playing uh, Grease Fang Okiba Boss. It is a uh, hate bears and cars type deck. So lots of hate bears and lots of cars. Uh, but this one, you get uh, to entomb your big, big cars so that you can play them out and uh, maybe get into your Parhelion 2. I don't know, smash some face. Play is Parhelion some really a car? Like, I, I feel like it's like a... That's probably like got a, wheels. A somewhere. helicopter. If you have to have wheel. insurance on it, it's a car. It's a lifestyle brand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to ask, you can't afford it. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, Alex. Hi, everybody. I'm Alex. And this week I'm playing the Jerry because I'm playing the Brea. Uh, Brea Ethereum Shaper. I'm looking for my Bomberman lines. I'm looking for Lion's Eye Diamond Breach lines. I'm looking just to win the game off the back of one of the most fair and balanced four color commanders ever printed. Correct. All right. That was a great Jerry impression. That was a great Jerry I am the Jerry playing the Brea. Mm-hmm. Great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. Thanks. Okay, so I think we're going to start the game. I rolled the highest, so I'm going to go first. Oh, Cheater. Must be nice. I'm going to play a snow-covered island as my land for turn. Then I'd like to cast a Mana Crypt. Mm. Then I'd like to cast an Urza's Bobble. Oh. Then I'd like to cast a Chrome Mox, exiling this Ponder. And then I would like to cast Urza. Lord High Artificer. Uh, boss. That's the name it's of the his, movie. It's, his, it's the name of the bobble. <laughs> <laughs> and then if Urza resolves, I would like to pass the turn. Uh, you'd also make a construct. Ah, yes. yes. Enters. Yeah, makes, a, makes a construct. Good call, Jan. Yeah. That's <laughs> Don't kill me. Way better than my hand, I think. It will. Uh, I'll draw for my turn. I'm going to play an Inspiring Vantage. Uh, it enters the battlefield because I... Wait. Yes, it's good. you're good. Because I control fewer than two lands <laughs> or, or whatever. Uh, and then I'm just going to pass the turn. Oh, powerful. Well, I'm going to draw the this card. Draw the turn. <laughs> uh, play a snow covered plains and just a simple land tax. Ooh, nice. Good pass one. The turn. Yeah, nice. Tundra. As for Sentinel. As for Sentinel. Mm. Every time. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> yep. Uh, pass. Okay. I uh, don't know. In your end step, I'm going to crack the Urza's Bobble. Uh, I'm going to choose Jan as my target player. Jan, show me a random card from your hand. That one. Take a card. This one. That's derived information. It's a good one. (laughs) It is a good one. Uh, Yeah, and then I'll move to my untap. Upkeep, I will draw a card off of the Urza's Bobble. I'm going to flip for Mana Crypt. Spikes damage. No damage. Always lucky. And then I will draw a card for my turn. Play this Flooded Strand as my land for turn. And I'm going to immediately crack it, going to 39. Uh, I'm going to get this Snow-Covered Island off the Flooded Strand, and then I will use it to cast an Aether Spellbomb. Would you like to pick one? 
Uh, no. Thank you. <gasps> then I'm going to pass the turn. You're oh, the wait, no, no, I'm going to move to combat. Alex. Yes. Three. Mm, one, two, three, four. The construct counts itself. Yeah. Four. Alex, I will attack you for four. I'll go to 36. And then I'll pass the turn. Uh, okay. At the end of Jim's turn, unfortunately, okay. I'm going to continue to feed this sentinel. I'm going to cast an enlightened tutor. Mm-hmm. Fix, fix, fix. Do it. I'm going to put this skull clamp on top of my library. Uh, and then untap and draw for my turn. Oh, look. That's convenient. Huh. What was it? Your mom. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm, wow. I'm going to play this ancient tomb. <laughs> Just so mean. Uh, and I'll take two down to 38. Uh, I'm going to use both of those manias. Uh, one of them is going to be for this mere moon vessel, mm. uh, which is a one mana one one. When it's put into a graveyard from play, add a colorless to my mana pool. And then the second will be for this skull clam. Can you pay one? I will. Thank you. And then I will pass the turn. I have no effects. You didn't ask me. Oh, sure. To... Sorry. I will pay the one. <clears throat> effects. I have no effects. 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 Pass the turn to you, right. Daniel. Excellent. Thank you. It's proper etiquette in magic. I'm going to untap, you. <laughs> and in my upkeep, uh, I'm going to pick Jim. Jim has more uh, lands than two. I do. I've got two of them. Yeah. So I'm going to go get three basic lands. I will get two snow-covered swamps and a snow-covered plains. Write that down. Write that Write down. Write that down. Write it down. Check the art. <laughs> uh, then I will draw for my turn. All right. Well, I'm just going to play one of these snow-covered swamps. Maybe I had that. Maybe I didn't. You know I had one. Who's to say? Who's who's to say? I mean, I figure you could. Patreons would know too. Oh, Maybe okay. they would. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna play a graph digger's cage. Ooh, fun. yeah. Just because I can, can't uh, can't stop me. Uh, one, two, three, oh, okay. four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> eight cards in my hand. I don't really want to discard any, so I'll also play this Mox Amber. Um, not paying for the Esper Sentinel. For the craft diggers cage. Thank you. And then I'll pass. Turn. Mana crypt. Ooh. Anybody? No. Nope. Okay. Command tap. So I'll tap one, two, and three, floating one to cast Dranath Magistrate. I would like to respond. Whoa, that nope. was instant. I'm going to uh, activate Urza. Oh, yeah. That, okay, yeah this this makes sense. Yes. Yeah. I'll reveal the top card of my library. It's a Sapphire Ooh, Medallion, and I would love to cast it. Thank you that's, for asking. That's pretty good. That is really good. Uh, then I'm going to pass priority on the Dranath Magistrate. Uh, there's a trigger for the yes. Yes, right? Because it does cast. I cannot and will not pay it. Wait, I can. No, I nope. can't. It's not in play yet. <laughs> I'll, tap, I'll tap this matter. We can't do it. Uh, sounds good. Uh, I have no responses yes. to the Sapphire, Sapphire Medallion, Medallion or Dranath Magistrate. Correct. Okay. To be honest. So the stack is empty and Dranath Magistrate enters the battlefield. Correct. I'd like to move to my end step where I will discard Verdant Catacombs to hand size. Cool. I'll untap. I'm going to flip for Mana Crypt. Spikes damage. Take three. Oh, that never happens. 36. I don't think I've ever seen you yeah, damage was off of a Mana Crypt. I can't think of the last time I saw Jim lose a coin flip. Draw card. I'm gonna play a gemstone caverns Ooh. as my land for turn. I'm going to pay two and cast fabricate. Fabricate's pretty good. Oh no. Um I have no effects. Oh yeah, S percent will trigger. Yeah, I'll pay for it. Uh yeah. yeah Still no, no effects. effects. I'm gonna grab this isochron scepter. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, then I'm going to tap this Sapphire Medallion for a blue using Urza's ability, and I will sacrifice my Aether Spell Bomb to bounce the Dranith Magistrate. Oh. Oh, no. I That's think true. I learned where this is going, and I do not like it. I mm -hmm. took this course in high school. <laughs> 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 then I'm going to cast this Ice Crown Scepter. Oh. Would you yep. like to choose to imprint something? I would love to. Thank you. I would like to imprint this Dramatic Reversal. Ah. Uh. Unlucky, he had it, you know, crazy. <laughs> uh, um, I have no effects. Yeah, I might have an effect, but I don't think it matters. So I have priority right now if if we're imprinting. 
And uh, I'm going to hold priority and float an additional blue. So I have one blue floating. Uh, I will do the one thing just to say that I did it and I participated in this game. I'm going to path Urza. Okay. Oh, that's doesn't pretty do good. It doesn't do anything? Yeah, it doesn't okay. Well, why are you putting them over there, pal? Put them back in the command zone because that's the uh, way that smart players play magic. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, I will. Oh, actually, I won't pay the one. Oh, oh interesting. Smart. And you may search for a base. Yes. I'm going to get this island off of the path to exile. So Isochron Scepter resolves, and now you're putting a copy. I'll Activating cast a copy of Dramatic, dramatic Reversal. Priority? No effects. Priority? Nope. Priority? Ugh. Unless its controller pays three. Ah, oh, and he only has two. Exactly. Well, we can't do that. So uh, I only have two. OK, so the copy of Dramatic Reversal is countered. Is countered. OK. OK, and then I'm just going to pass the turn. I'll let the mana drain from my pool, and I have been successfully um, miscast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> successfully bamboozled. Uh, yeah, I didn't think this was happening, so I'll, I'll untap, and I'll draw for my turn. Oh, now the Dranith's gone. Yeah, that's Ooh, this is bad for us. Nice. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I didn't <laughs> expect us to make it all the way to here. Um, I will start with this Arid Mesa, uh, which I will crack and go to 37. I will get this Plateau off of my Arid Mesa, and then I would like to cast my commander, Cole, the Forge Master. Oh, we're in danger. Yep. Not like big danger, necessarily. Mm, kind of. Medium big danger. danger. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I will. That was my nickname. <laughs> yeah, it would have been. I'm going to go to 35 here. Uh, make two colorless with my ancient tomb. I would like to use one colorless to equip skull clamp to mere moon vessel. You got it. Effects, effects, effects. Yeah. This will cause mere moon vessel to die a tragic death, which will add a colorless to my mana pool and allow me to draw two cards on his first birthday. And then Cole will trigger because. My non-token creature was equipped and died. It will return to my hand. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to use another colorless to replay this mere moon vessel. The same deviled <laughs> moon vessel. <laughs> then I'll use a mana, clamp the moon vessel, mm -hmm. and we will repeat this process so it'll end up in my hand. I'll have a colorless. I'll draw two cards. Oh, that's so good. That makes me feel dirty. The draws <laughs> were... Unimpressive. <laughs> well, I mean, but that's okay. But you got them off the top of your library. You did. I did. And then I'm going to replay the Mirror Moon Vessel. Just oh, as he no. predicted. Uh, yeah. And move to discard a singular card. I'm going to discard this Spire of Industry. How okay. oh, industrious of you. Thank you. Well, I'm going to untap. I never thought I would make it to this far. Uh, and I will trigger my land tax because it appears that... Multiple oh, people multiple have more people lands have. than I do, so I'll go get a couple basics. All right, this time around, I'm going to get uh, two snow-covered plains and a snow-covered swamp. Write that down. Write that down. You now know of a lot of the cards in my uh, hand, and I'll draw for my turn. I still get to draw a card. Well, I'm just going to play a lowly snow-covered swamp, um, and then I'm just going to cast uh, Grease Fang, because I know there's a Dranith Magistrate hanging around somewhere, Smart. and I don't like it. Smart. Uh, so at the beginning of combat on my turn, return target vehicle card. I'll return this path to exile. No, that doesn't work. All right. Well, I guess at that point, I will just move to discard. I'm going to discard a snow covered planes because I have too many. And it's no Parhelion the second, but it is a weather light. Mm. Weather light is a good card. Yeah. yeah. Still, I mean, yeah. Yeah. That's a call. And then uh, I will pass the turn. Right up. Are right, we going to flip for mana crypt? Spike damage. Ah, oh, kick damage, nerd. I did. 33. What's it like to be the lowest life total? Yeah, that is true. It's fine. Play this plateau. Don't. Tyrannith <laughs> 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 Magistrate. Oh, I remember that card. I'm not going to do anything about it. I'd make a devil magistrate joke, but I don't like that card. <laughs> yeah. That's, Actually, now the cold's already in play. It's like not. Yeah, it's like kind of really fine. It matters think, to you. Well, That's the turn. All right. Well, I didn't want to attack for one. Untap. I will flip for the crypt. Spikes damage. Take that. Fuck your body, nerd. <laughs> wow. 
Now you're both at the lowest life total. Wow, Mana Crypt, bad card. You heard it here first. What's, yeah, what's, sure. what's the opposite of the throne? Draw card. I'm going to play an Urza Saga. <gasps> That's gonna, the name of the saga. It's going to gain an ability. And then... I'm going to cast Copy Artifact, paying the one for Esper Sentinel. Thank you. Oh. I just that only cost me one because of the it Sapphire does, it's blue. Yeah. Uh, I have no effects. I also have no effects. I have no effects. Very good. It's going to be an S percent. No? That's what I thought you were saying. Yeah. I was playing copy artifact as an S percent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah maybe, maybe. Then I'm going to move to combat. Yep. <clears throat> oh my God. This thing's huge. S percent is an artifact. <laughs> it's a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, I will attack Alex. Yeah. Saw that coming. 27. Then I will pass a turn. Oh my god. I got another turn. Oh. <clears throat> I'll untap. I will untap. I will untap <laughs> and draw a card for my turn. <laughs> I will play. <laughs> Welcome I, back to serious masculine. I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't do it. We're going to play very masculine cards masculinely. I found a TikTok account that just posts old episodes of BattleBots. And no. it's yes. awesome. It's like Battle awesome. 1999. Yeah. Wow. It's incredible. It's everything I remembered and more. Carmen so Electra was a host on that show. Yeah. Was she? In yeah, yeah Bill. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't BattleBots, but it was the other one. Robot was, Wars was Bill and I was their like science. Oh, yeah. Uh, BattleBots, uh, Battlebots, it was, was like an, an ex-MMA fighter and then like <clears throat> a, a legit sports play-by-play guy yeah, for like sick. a while. That's crazy. The the show was where it's like, awesome. Oh, you just like, flip a walk upside down and put a knife on it and spin it real fast. You yeah. win all the fights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It turns out spinning walk of doom <laughs> is kind of <laughs> in the of doom category. I'm going to play a mana confluence mm -hmm. as my land for turn. I'm going to put these like this because it makes my brain feel nicer. And then I'm going to cast a mox opal. S percent. <laughs> There's Ooh. two of them. Oh. Metalcraft online. You may both draw cards. Would love to, thank you. Singular, actually, but you may. Uh, then, I'm a genius. Turbo genius, in fact. Uh, I will pay two to this ancient tomb to join everybody else at 33. Uh, uh, Alex is at 27. Oh, true. Dang it, I missed my opportunity. You did. Uh, I will have a colorless floating. The Mox Opal will add a red. I would like to play this desperate ritual. Uh oh. Nothing's happening. Yeah, here. You got it. Do it. Yeah. Nobody's doing anything. For I have three red. Uh, so this will turn into a floating red that I'll leave over here, not on my ancient tomb. Uh, so that's two, three. Imperial recruiter. No effects. No effects. Yeah, you got it. Off of the Imperial Recruiter, I'm going to put Oriox Steel Shaper into my hand, uh, and then we'll go ahead and cast that guy. Uh, now, I've assembled uh, a thing here. Uh, so Oriox Steel Shaper says equip costs. I pay, cost one less. This equips for one and would give this little dude uh, minus one toughness, therefore killing him, returning him to my hand, adding a colorless and drawing two cards. So I would like to equip for free, which will kill him, which will return him to my hand, and I will draw two cards. And, and I will colorless. add a colorless mana. I would like to demonstrate a loop uh, where I do not net anything except cards drawn currently. Mm -hmm. You got it. I would like to draw this many cards well, I guess it has to be in multiples of two. Close I'm willing enough. to stick <laughs> close enough. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll draw this many cards. cards. Yeah. You can pick sure. it up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and end with Moon Vessel in play, I guess. That sure. might, that so might with, with without, so without, without skull. No color. Yeah. Or yes. No, right. yeah, yeah. Uh, no skull requirement. I guess at this point, uh, folks who aren't watching the Patreon cut, we're going to skip ahead to the point where Elliot tells us how he murders us. But if you want to stick around, we're going to meme and tell Elliot why he's bad on the Patreon cut. It's true. I'm going to cast a couple of these uh, free spells that I drew because those are cool and fun for everybody, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I've got a Mox Amber. Mm. I've got a Mana Crypt. Mm -hmm. I've got a Lotus Petal. Mm -hmm. And I've got a Mox Diamond. 
Are you going to discard a land for the Mox Diamond? I will discard this Spectator Seating. I will also play this Chrome Mox and exile this Rip Apart. Oh, it taps for both. It does both. tap for both. You exiled this Wear Tear. Yeah. You did. Uh, then... You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> You're not Jerry. I'm not. Not today. He is today. <laughs> yeah. uh, then I'll tap these two white to play this Grand Abolisher. Okay. Which I think uh, is the is the nail in the coffin that I, I hopefully need here. Any responses to the Abolisher? Nope. Okay. Maybe unnecessary, but you know, that's... That's the way I live my life. <laughs> uh, yeah. sack, this, sack this Lotus Petal, tap the Mox Amber. I would like to play Dockside Extortionist. Ooh, yeah, I believe uh, the count's at 12. 12. Yep. 12. So I will make 12 treasures. Bomb. This is a little something I prepared earlier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then I'm going to use two of them. I'm going to play Mortar Pod. Ooh. Oh. Okay, yeah, I get it. So what's going to happen here is Mortar Pod, uh, I guess, initially comes in equipped to a germ, which this copy will be a germ, sue me. Uh, then I'll sacrifice, or sorry, it gives the creature the ability to sacrifice the creature to deal a damage to target creature or player, which I will do with the germ to Jan. Jan's still at 40. Oh, Jan. <laughs> so Jan will go to 39. Then I'll use two more to equip the Mortar Pod to the dock side. Oh, and then send you yeah. net 12 each dock side. Right. So now, exact last. Mortar Pod yeah. kills dock side, which will return him to my hand with the coal. I'll use two more to play it, make 12 more treasures, and loop this, shooting people with the mortar potted dock side and so, until you're all mm -hmm. dead, deado. Yep. I'd like to move to. I'm sad about this. Wow. Good job. That's a cool win. Mer yeah. Moon Vessel. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. I feel like I feel like Ben Wheeler would be proud of you for winning with Mirror Moon Vessel. I uh, hope so. He for sure will. I Tell hope. us in the comments. Yeah. If, if ben, you're ben, 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 if you're proud I'll link of this to yeah. you. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag but, not Ben Wheeler. But Ben Wheeler, if you want to sponsor us, yeah, we'll you take know it. how to get all of us. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a cool game. Um, lots of stuff happened. I got stopped by uh, some stuff that was entirely predictable yeah. uh, in mm -hmm. Dranith Magistrate and Grafdigger's Cage, which I probably shouldn't have tried to force myself through. But I got to be honest. If, I think you had it on the dramatic reversal uh, activation, yes. but yeah. Yeah, yeah I was, was trying to think really of ways tight. that I didn't cast stuff from my library or from Graveyard. Mm. Um, <laughs> and that was a way to do it. I also had the copy artifact. So I was like, I could do some pretty fun stuff with double scepter lines, even if I don't go with Urza, but I didn't have another instant in my hand. I just had, mm -hmm. I drew this off of the, um, yeah. the copied um, yeah. thing. Uh, for anybody wondering, the cards left in my deck were. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was pretty crazy. Just wow. picking up like 60 some odd cards. Yeah. Yeah. Boros combo. Boros combo. Who knew? It, Not me. No. It felt like. Not anyone. Like really strong. Like I guess obviously there's a lot of redundancy on the mirror moon vessel end of things mm -hmm. and a lot of redundancy on the uh, equipment Equip tutor. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Line of yeah. things, right? So even just, yeah, like not even finding, like, because I just drew the four cards or whatever, right? Like getting that engine mm. in place on whatever turn that was, even if I didn't find the recruiter at that point, like I was going to draw like whatever, yeah, how many more just yeah. off of the ancient tomb yeah. alone with the yeah. moon vessel there. Like, yeah. And, and also key because it's not really like an aristocrats combo. It doesn't come back into play. It goes back to your hand, which means it gets yeah. around the graph diggers cage. Right. right? Um, actually super important yeah, yeah. <laughs> very important that was key to that game um, yeah. and interestingly enough that's kind of how grease fan gets around graph diggers cage too yep. because it recurs artifacts not and not creatures right, right? the vehicles, vehicles are not creatures, creatures. Yeah. i was like i'm yeah. wondering why am i playing this crap all oh, right no it's artifacts. so good no. okay. yeah. it's so good in that deck it's good stuff i i, I do apologize to jerry i, I didn't I didn't no, this is, you know this what? is in Jerry fashion, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Jerry's yeah. already won twice. That means yeah. he's not going to win for another six months. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, least. Jerry. You, <laughs> you didn't start your first turn with Yeehaw. That's what. Uh, uh, dang it. The oh. mistake. Yeah. I got to keep that in mind for next yeah, time. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm playing. I'm Jerry next time. So. <gasps> <laughs> all right. Well, all right. So next time, folks, you can catch us playing these games again. But if you want to catch them early, you can join our Patreon for as little as one US dollar a month. I get you access to these games as soon as we get them edited and put up for you. Usually at least three days ahead of time, sometimes more. We can also get you any cards that you need out of face2facegames.com. They sponsor the show. And if you want to help us out without having to pay us a dollar a month and get cards and get those cards for cheaper, you can use code SPIKEFEEDERS at checkout at face2facegames.com. In the meantime, have a great day. 
Huge shout out to all of our patrons, especially those listed here. If you haven't checked the Patreon in a while, check it out again. We've got some new bonuses for folks who pledge at $20 or above. So if you haven't checked us out, please do so. And once again, thank you for all your support over the years. We really appreciate it. Hey, thank you for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you close the window, or you can click on this link to check out our other great videos.